Trafford and told them to give her a proper round of applause. We <laughs> are lucky enough to have Rosemary with us right now. Yeah, so Rosemary, welcome. How did you feel Hello. when the manager leapt to your defence like that? I was honoured actually and I didn't expect it at all. I didn't, you know, imagine for a moment that he was going to say something about me that, you know, my playing and stuff. So I was quite honoured and taken aback. And I have to say, you know, I'm grateful to him for that because if it wasn't for his comments, I wouldn't be stood here today. <laughs> so I'd, li I'd like to buy him a pint. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you can buy us one as well afterwards if you like. Um, okay. Is it frustrating, <laughs> though, when you go to an event? Because I've seen you at an event and everybody's chatting and you're wandering around playing your heart out and people are sort of not listening. Is that annoying? No, not at all. Why I not? I actually quite like that. I just like to be sort of like seen if you want to see me. You can hear me and look if you want to, but I'm not intrusive. So you can have your chats and conversations without me sort of getting in the way. I quite like that. I like being, you know, sauntering around um, without too much spotlight. You wouldn't like so, to be at the front? No. I prefer doing it this way. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, brilliant. Well, I tell you what, we are not going to talk when you play tonight. What? We're going to listen yeah, to you. We are, uh, definitely. Yeah. And um, that'll be after we tell you and the viewers about what's in tomorrow's programme. Now, ahead of the bank holiday weekend and the arrival of the three queens, we will take a look back at the history of the Cunard Company and the impact it has had on the city of Liverpool. Yeah, they're going to have a great bank holiday in Liverpool celebrating that. I'm going to be back with the late news at 10.30. The ITV evening news is coming up. For now, though, Rosemary, take it away. <laughs> Thank you.